Hello, sweet souls. Happy Friday. Um, August 25th, this is going to be your angel reading. Uh, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors and ask for a message for your greater, greater good. So let's see what the message is today. I also want to pray for intercession. Um, from the warring angels on behalf of the collective and anyone that's being attacked physically, spiritually, or emotionally. I pray for God's intercession, sending warring angels to protect. All right, let's see. Truth, the only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to know? So the first card we got is moon. This says, take note of intuitive messages. You have divine assistance, you have messages, you have downloads, and they want you to pay attention. They also want you to let go of the need to be right. Just embrace the energy of peace. You know, if people are falsely accusing you, for example, if you are spiritual and you do spiritual work and people are saying that you are a witch, let them say whatever it doesn't matter you don't let anyone disturb your peace okay then we have trust in your instincts your intuition is on point you don't have to worry um, what other people do you just have to stay in prayer and trust your own intuition with stargazer we got set your sights higher dream big air guardian shift your perception see things from a higher perception see things spiritually from a spiritual perception okay feel loved and comforted you are protected and honor your inner knowing your psychic abilities your intuitive abilities that comes from God when you are rooted in your faith it comes from God so let me pull this down guys so trust trust that God's going to give you the information that you need when you need it you have nothing to fear. There is no power greater than God. None. Be fearless. It's exactly what I just said. God wants you to be fearless. You have, these are two number threes, by the way. We have be fearless, number three, and then we have emotions. Card number 12, which reduces to a three. So some of you may be seeing 33 or threes. This is Ascended Masters coming down to help you. Emotions may be running high right now in Mercury retrograde. Feel, I just saw a beautiful orb. Thank you. Uh, feel what you need to feel, but then release it. Okay, just release it. It's coming up so that you can make peace with whatever it is and release it. Yeah, walk your truth, speak your truth. It doesn't matter what anyone believes. They can accuse you. They have to answer to God. That's that's it. It's between them and God. It's time to walk your truth. Be your true authentic self. You're on a sacred journey. You had to go through an awakening <clears throat> to be led down this path. And you are awakening to your gifts and to your abilities. Card number one and card number 26. We have <clears throat> two threes, two eights, and a one. This leads to so much abundance in your life, emotional fulfillment, happiness, celebration. That's beautiful. All right. Let's see what else you have. What other messages do you have for the collective, please? What other messages do you have for the collective? Truth and only truth. So we got let it out, let it flow. Open up the heart to feel. Just because someone wounded you in the past doesn't mean that every person that comes in your life will hurt you. If you come from a place of love, self-love, loving you and setting boundaries, you are not gonna give your power away to anyone. You're not. If someone 
doesn't give equally to you, if someone is not honest with you, you are gonna feel it and you're gonna walk away. You don't have to worry. Then we got breathe love into your life. Remind yourself to breathe. You know, some of you may be doing, may need to do breathing exercises. When you feel overwhelmed, focus on your breathing. Pray and just breathe, okay? Everything is gonna work out. Shine love on fear. Love will light up the darkness. Continue to let your light shine. Come from Coming from a loving space. Embrace the dark. Shine your true light upon this earth. You know, as long as you're in God's light, people are gonna try to come after you. I mean, look at the life of Jesus, who was the son of man. He was God. And he had, and, and if you don't believe it, it's fine. But this is what I believe. And God, he was God the Son, and he was persecuted. He was ridiculed. People tried to destroy him, and all he preached was love. Why do you think that is? Because dark energies do not want those in light to shine or clear out the fog, the confusion that they try to create to hide their evilness. You're healing your heart and the heart hurts, but it will mend in time. Your heart is gonna mend. You don't have to worry, you know? Self-love, God's love, and everything else will fall into place. Is there any other advice? Justice and divine protection. All those that have harmed you will pay, and that's between them and God. Anything that they're sending to you, whether it's spell work, negative, ill intent, evil eye, whatever they're sending you, you are protected. And you have to believe this. There's no weapon forged to get forged against you that will prosper. None. They want you to speak your truth and celebrate your life. Celebrate it. Operate in love energy. Come from a space of love. Love is your superpower. Love is your protection. And you will get back what you deserve. The scales of justice will be balanced. You are the high priestess, highly intuitive, very connected to God, and very protected. Anyone that is so disillusioned that they think they can come after you, they're going to find out a hard way. They're going to find out the hard way. It's not going to go in their favor. Things are going to fall apart in their life. And they're going to know why. Pray for them. Pray that they wake up to the truth. Pray that they seek forgiveness. Pray that they go to God. There will be regret for these actions. There will be regret. Yeah. Regret and defeat. Regret and defeat. That's the only way it can go. There's no other way. Uh, they will, for many of them, be drowning in deep emotion with the memory of what they lost and the pain they caused you. Yeah. For many of you, you're an earth angel and you are thrown away like you are nothing and they will have no peace or balance in their life. They juggled you with a karmic connection. But in all actuality, they have no control over it. God knew who they were and God knew what would happen. God allowed that tower to fall because God wanted you to be liberated and freed from a toxic, dark energy. God wanted you to have a life of love and happiness. God wanted to take that burden from you so that you could have a brand new beginning, a stable offer with a partner that would be honest and loyal and loving and kind and grounded, abundant energy, a loving partner that would respect you, that would put in the work. So regardless of the pain that you suffered, just know and understand it was out of love from God that he permitted it to happen because that was the only way you would be free. <sighs> All right, guys, I love you. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.